This is the great Okefenokee Swamp in southeastern Georgia. Okefenokee is a Seminole Indian word, meaning land of the trembling earth. This vast, unexplored area covers more than 600 square miles. It is the breeding ground for the deadly water moccasin, alligators, swamp bears, and the black panther. In 1910, few white men had ever penetrated the depth of this swampland and returned to tell about it. Trappers from the nearby villages ventured only a short distance, and those who went beyond seldom returned. In the spring of 1910, two trappers ventured into the interior. When they failed to return, searching parties skirted the fringe, looking for signs of them. This is Zach Tyler and his son, Ben. They live at the village of Fargo, on the edge of the Great Swamp. Them two trappers went past the marker. It's just too bad. It's as far as I look for anybody. Ain't no law says a man's got to get lost in there. I ain't never heard of nobody going in there ever coming back out. Look there. Question about it, they've been Gatorette. Come on, let's get out of here. his way back. Oh, I gotta get him so he get lost. I'd rather it was careless than you. He's got more of a chance than a man has. He'll come back soon. I better go get him. You ain't going. You see what happened to them two trappers? Coffee and your bacon. Hurry up, Pat. Me and Harry needs cropping bad. You long has been needing cropping bad for the past year. And anyways, I'm not sure where my sheep shears are. <laughs> where are you going, Ben? In the swamp. I'm gonna find my dog. That's crazy, Ben. You ain't going past that marker. I forgot to. And then you better take this, Ben. Some of Pat McGowan's special red eye. Two drinks and ain't a snake or gator will come near you. If he just ain't cold out crazy about that dog. Darn <laughs> you, Henry. That coon is a real pest. Oh, I never should have let Noreen talk me into... Noreen! Oh, Noreen, darling! Yes, Pa? What is it? I said, if you go in that swamp, you'll never come out. But you know what happened to them trappers. No sense in thinking you'll find careless. You can't go. You'll get lost. You're going to be like all the rest. 
Everybody sticking their noses in. I'll get back. Ben, listen to me, please. Just like a woman trying to hog tie. Risking your neck for a catch, huh? What kind of husband would such a man be? I ain't no husband yet. How do you like that? All for a dog. Crazy fool. We see him again. My name ain't Longdon. Come on, let's eat.
Careless. Careless! What's your name, young fella? Ben Tyler. Did you come in here looking for us? No, I come in here looking for my dog. You were expecting us to believe that? <coughs> Can't you see he's mine? Let me take him and I'll go. What makes you think you can find your way out of here? I left marks, trail marks. I can find them. They ain't there now. Well, maybe you could show me. Couldn't you show me the way out of here? I 
I know you. But sure, you're Jim Harper. And she must be your daughter, little Laurie. Oh, 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 no, Laurie, you can't do it. Go back and tell him. He can't go back. He can't find his way out of here. Oh, I swear I didn't come looking for you. Can't you see, Laurie? No sense to take a human life. You can help it. First chance he gets, he'll bring him back in after you. Oh, I won't tell nobody. I give you my word. You can't keep me here. You can kill me if you want to, but don't try to keep me here, because I'll find my way out by myself if I have to. He's mighty brave talk, son. But I wouldn't try it if now you. I was in here six years before I found my way out. Must seem funny to a person who's used to having a gun. My shells give out after the first year. We had to learn to make them things and use them so as we could live. That's how come all the skins. The swamp's just full of skins. Why, these parts ain't even been touched for trapping. Guess I know what happened to them two lost trappers. Yeah, they was caught in mouth bit. All we done was give them a good Christian burial. Why bother telling it? I suppose you didn't kill Bill Longdon eight years ago. Yes, I killed Bill Longdon in self-defense. Sam Black was self-defense, too? The Longdons killed Sam Black. The Longdons? Everybody knows you shot both of them. You mean that's what the Longdons said I'd done? Uh, sure, they caught you changing cattle brands. That's a lie. Then why did you run away? <laughs> I didn't think panthers come at folks that way. When they're hungry, they will. That one's after that deer carcass. He might have killed one of us. Living in here is just the same as being dead. You know what you mean. Good coming home, roof over your head, bed to sleep in, sitting on the porch after supper, puffing at a seagull. What I'd give to be sitting on the porch after supper with a seagull. Laurie, you never had no chance to know what it means to live like folks. You was too young when you come in here. I never had no chance eight years ago. I'd go back now if I'd get a fair trial. You'd be willing to stand trial? If I got a fair one, they had a lawyer to help me. You didn't get it before. Why do you think you get it now? Maybe things has changed. You think I could, son? Look, I ain't asking you to say whether you think I'm guilty or innocent. All I'm asking is, would you be willing to Help me try. Well, I'm not saying I believe your story, but I would be willing to go out and try to get a lawyer for you. Now, don't talk no more about going back, because you ain't going back. Laurie, you got to learn to trust somebody sometime. Why? Because sometime you got to go back. I can't understand. You're not willing to try for your pa's sake. I ain't expecting you to understand. But why? 
Because maybe you never had to run in the middle of the night. See your ma's face with a lynch mob coming after you with flaming pine nuts. No way to escape but into the swamp. I can still hear them laughing, grunting about how they'd string Pa up. They come hunting us for days, us hiding in the mud. Ma taken sick. Pa willing to give himself up, even get lynched to save her. He knowed she was dying, and she knowed it. And the look in her face, knowing we was lost. And watching her die. What do we ever do to you ones on the outside to get this? you, son. Well, let's start hunting. That way. I go first. Some old starry hill. Oh, it 
it's always dark and dreary in the bayou. So I'm gonna climb to heaven's windowsill. And I'll hang my hat up high between the earth and sky. Way out on some old starry hill. There on my old starry hill, I can watch the yellow moon sailing by. With my hound dog, I will stray along the Milky Way and count every star in the sky. Wish you could find me a swamp animal with a good E-string in it. You gonna turn in, Laurie? Yeah, Paul. Hey, Laurie. Yeah? I don't know how to tell you, but things is different now. Huh. Well, when we was in here alone, that was one thing. Now they're different. What you mean? The way Ben was looking at you. He looked at me before. You don't understand, Laurie. I'm your father, and he ain't. You're a girl, and he's a boy. What you so fussed up about? Well, it's it's hard to explain. It, I'm thirsty. I'm going to get a drink of water. Dear Lord, here comes Jim Harper. Now, it ain't for me to judge whether he was guilty or not. You'd know better about that than any of us, Lord. But inside, in my heart, I, I got a feeling that he, he suffered a lot for no fair reason. I guess you know how to take care of that, Lord. Amen.
Get away from me. Don't you touch me. I hate you. I hate all of you. All right. But your pa's got to have a decent burial, so let's get it finished. And you're going to show me the way out of here. It won't be too soon for me. Well, me neither. Because the Lord willed it. He knows I gotta live. I can't die before Laurie gets back in the world again. Laurie! Laurie! Laurie, come here quick! Laurie. this bend, the water broadens out. Fall it and you get home. Now that you know, you think you can remember all the markers so you can get back in again? You sure, Ben? Because if you get lost, me and around... No, I'm sure. I got it all fixed in my mind. There's the banyan tree marker and the limestone bar and then there's that, that gumbo limbo that stands atop a mound of shells with the roof pointing like an R. That's right. I don't think you'll have no trouble. But remember, Ben, you can't talk to no one out there. Not even your pa. He's a good man. But people is people. When you get the money from them skins, why, half it's yours, because we're partners. Take my share and get me a lawyer. The best one you can find. I'll get him. And after this is all over, why, you and me's going to be real trapping partners. Keep the money in the swamp, all right. Why don't you leave Careless here with us? We'll take good care of him. You afraid I wouldn't come back otherwise? I'll be back. Nothing will stop me. Bye, Ben. Bye, Miss Lori. Bye. Thanks. Much blood. 
Don't you worry none, Zach. We'll all go back searching again as soon as we get some fresh horses. So long, Zach. Come on. So long. Come back. Didn't nothing happen. Didn't it? I slept for three days and three nights, riding around looking for you. I'm sorry. I found careless. Look at the skins I got. There's a whole treasure up in the swamp. We could make us a fortune. You ain't gonna set foot in that swamp again. I know my way in there now. You heard me. I wouldn't get lost. You ain't going in. I ain't a child, Paul. You can't stop me from going back. You live by the Bible. You taught me to. I ain't gonna lift my hand again, my own paw. But you're gonna have to kill me to keep me from going back into that swamp. Then you ain't gonna live under my roof. That's up to you. Get out. I get back. You bought a lot of things. This is for you. Thank you. Yeah, we're out when everybody can see us. Oh, can't see nothing they don't already know about us. Hiya, man. Doreen. Hi, Hi Ned. Money Ben got sure seemed a lot to me. Well, what's enough for one man ain't enough for another. She might have said on getting a lot more real fast. That don't make him different from the rest of us. Who said it does? Clem, is Ben in any trouble with the law? I ain't heard of it. What makes you ask? When he asked me who was the best lawyer in the county, I figured there's something wrong when a man asks about a lawyer. Who'd you tell him? Why, old Judge Sloan, of course. He's the best lawyer in the whole state. Hey. Take a look at this. He was just gone only three days. This here fell's been drying for at least two weeks. What do you mean? Feel it. Let me see it. Sure feels more than three days old to me. Yeah. Oh, got me all messed up. Oh, can't hardly expect stay neat as a pen. Don't see why you care much for me if you could. Ben. Mm, ben. You ain't told me nothing about the swamp. Wasn't you scared in there? Nope. Of course, it took a while for me to get the idea how easy it was for us to move around in there. Why, we even went as far as... It... We? Well, yeah. What do you mean, us and we? Well, it's all the same, just me and Careless. Oh. Well, of course. Who else would it be? I don't know. Who else could it be? Now, Noreen, don't go getting foolish about it. Sure, Ben. I wasn't doubting you. Ben, I've been thinking. 
Maybe I ought to talk to Pa about figuring out the arrangements for the wedding. Oh, sure. We'll talk about that when I get back from this next trip into the swamp. You can't go in again. Couldn't stand it. You want to run in that swamp, never know what's happening to you. It's not fair to me. Well, you got to trust me. Nothing going to happen. Didn't nothing happen to me, did it? Lucky. Everybody knows it except in you. Nobody around here knows nothing about that swamp. No? And what is it you know about everybody else don't? Nothing much. How to move around in there. I'm going in there for otter skins, and I'm going to come out a rich man. Ben Tyler, if you go back in that swamp, we're through for good. Oh, Ben, please don't be mule headed. Now, Norena, I split with my pa on account of it. I ain't going to let no girl boss I me. I ain't trying to boss you, Ben. All right, then just calm your fears. I'll be back in time to take you to the county dance. Well, if you go, you needn't bother. I'll be going to the dance with Jack Duran. Jack Duran? Well, well, I'm mighty sorry for the lack of pleasure you'll have from it. Ben Tyler, you watch your step, because you're heading to be taken down. Do you hear me? Howdy, Miss Laurie. Hello. Where's your pa? Hunting. He got back soon. Because I didn't go see about the lawyer. Why not? Because all I got for the skins is $112. And if we're going to get Hub Sloan, the best lawyer there is, we need $500. Where do you think you're going to get $500? Otter skins. One otter's worth 10 of the others. Who's going to get this money? The lawyer or you? I'm getting tired of you suspicioning me. I didn't go see the lawyer because I didn't want to take no chance on his turning me down not having the money. Let go! I don't want to hold you. I just want to get them skins for your pa's sake. I got to get back in two weeks. Why? For a dance. And I don't want to miss it. I don't see as a dance would be much to miss. It is to me. Just a lot of folks getting all prettied up to stomp around. Well, you sure could stand some dressing up. That's why I brung you something. So you look decent when you and your pa come out of here. She'll make me feel like a jackass for doing it. She even gonna look at it. I know a place just teeming with otter. A couple days from here, down to the mangroves. Ben! Well, you did come back. Glad to see you. I got good news for you, but first, here's something. For me? Thanks. Shh. 
seagulls. Laurie, look. Seagulls. Real, genuine seagulls. Don't shoot, Ben. Maybe you'll go away. Nothing but a stray ball. Mm, he's likely born in here. You wound him and he'll charge you and he killed you. Well, you killed him. and make him a pack. Yeah, don't worry. He'll be all right. We've got some wonderful herbs. You see it. Look. I think we're going to get us all the otter we want. So turn in. Night. 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 Just as good as new. Thanks to you knowing about them herbs. The swamp's full of magic. Yeah, and meanness, too. It's real pretty. If you know it.
one bucket. I don't think there'll ever be a time I won't want to come back to the swamp. To see it. Hear it. Why don't you tell me some more about that dance? Dance? Oh, well, it's colors and music to make you want to dance with a pretty girl in your arms. You got a girl? Oh, sure. Is she pretty? Yeah, we's engaged to be married, but I, I don't know whether she's going to the dance with me or not, because we had us a fight. She's Irish and stubborn. She didn't want me to come back in here, but I told her I had to. You didn't tell her why? You still don't trust me, do you? It, it ain't you, Ben. It, it's just hard. Awful hard to forget. I'm sorry. kept your cut from getting all swole up and poisoned. You still going to that dance without your girl? I don't think I'm likely to. I don't know where I had a fella to find a girl who wasn't already. Well, if I ain't the blindest fool. You! You're crazy. Supposing folks was to find out who I was before you got things fixed up for Paul. But the dance is at LaBelle. 
Folks come from all over. Wouldn't nobody know you? Oh, I'd be real proud to take you, Laurie. You look real pretty all dressed up. You mean I ain't so pretty now? Oh, no, I didn't mean that. Won't you come with me? No, I couldn't. But someday when we get out, there'll be other dances. Got the skin stashed away in your boat, Ben. You ready? Yeah. Laurie. Nothing. skins, too. You sure you've done it all by yourself, Ben? Only way I could. Sure maybe you didn't find them trappers alive. No, I didn't. Them trappers is dead for sure. For sure? How you know? Well, everybody knows we found the boat turned over. Well, just didn't seem likely one fella get all those skins by himself. Just lucky, I guess. What do you make of it? I don't know. But I'm thinking just what you're thinking. Oh. Jack, would you kindly fetch me a cooling drink? Oh, sure, Nori. much dancing, Mr. Tyler. You're doing enough for the both of us. Oh, I'm sorry. I had to promise every dance to Jack. Mm-hmm. You ain't fooling me none, Ben Tyler. You're mad and I'm enjoying it. I'd appreciate it if you'd enjoy it over yonder. Oh, but I enjoy it just a little bit more over here with you. But I've been thinking, maybe if I try real hard, I might be able to talk Jack Duran just out of one little old dance. Well, you haven't said, Mr. Tyler. Would you be interested? Miss Laurie. You came. Evening, Ben. Paul brought me to the edge of the swamp. He'd be waiting to take me back. He was hoping maybe he had some word about that lawyer. Well, I'm going to see the lawyer tomorrow. McGowan says there's over $500 worth of skins, but he can't give me the money till the bank opens in LaBelle. You mean we got enough? Sure have. And maybe in a few days it'll be all fixed for you and your pa to come out. I can't hardly believe it. <laughs> you sure it's all right for me to be here? Oh, half the people here don't know each other. They come from all over the county. Choose your 
partners for the Rye Waltz. Everybody get your partners, get on the floor. Everybody have fun. Here we go. <laughs> Gonna drink none? I don't believe I care for any. What'll I do with it? It's wonderful the way you don't have no trouble moving to this music. I mean better than any woman here. Besides, I didn't watch it. I think you're the prettiest one here, too. Join it, Laurie. Ben, I'd like to talk to you for a minute. Everybody dance! Do we even have a minute to ourselves? I didn't see you come to the dance with that girl. You're too busy dancing with Jack to notice much. You might have seen more than you think. Who is she? Girl I met around here. What's her name? You wouldn't know her. There's a new family just moved here. Then you couldn't have known her very long. A little while. That's a mighty pretty dress she's got on. Hmm? You ain't bad at picking dresses for the girls, Ben. What do you mean? You got that dress before you went back into the swamp. I saw you through the window. And it wouldn't be hard to prove, neither. I'm willing to forget. In fact, I'm willing to forget lots and begin into suspicion. What are you thinking about, Ben? That I'm tired of being cussed out and suspicioned by you. I must say, that's a nice way to talk. I reckon Jack Duran would talk that way. No, he wouldn't. He's a gentleman. Then why don't you get on in there and doze the door with him so I can waltz with my girl? <laughs> Stop that, you... Leave me alone! Let me go! Leave me alone! Let me go! Now, what the name of Katie are you two fighting for? Who started this ruckus, anyhow? Me and Ben were just arguing. Didn't have no call to come button in. Huh? He fought for you. He can have you. All right, now let's get back dancing. 
Come on, break it up. Take it easy. I should never come. Ain't nothing gonna happen, Miss Lori. Nothing at all. We, we, we won't go back to the dance. We'll go for a walk. But Paul's waiting for me. We'll get to him. It's early. Let me take you by to see the Harper place. I couldn't. Oh, but it's your ranch, your house. It's, it's where you're going to live. Oh, sure, I know it needs fixing up, but... It... Oh, come on, ain't no right at all. No, I couldn't. Pa's waiting for me. i got to get back. All right. All right. I know why I told Noreen I didn't want to marry her. Why? Because I don't love her. I guess I never did love Noreen, but I, I never know for sure until tonight. It's you, Lori. I think you feel about it just the same as me. just to get at a girl. She knows. And about your father, of course I know. That's why I didn't tell her. She must have heard. That just like a man trying to get out of it. Of course he told. When you expect to tell the girl he's going to marry? I didn't, Noreen. You know I didn't. Uh, Laurie? Ben, get off on that horse. Don't make no trouble, you won't get none. What do you want? Just you lead us in the swamp. Show us where Harper is. Who told you I know anything about Jim Harper? Ain't no use playing around, Ben. You know how we know. Yeah, now it makes sense how you got skins been dried for weeks and a few days. Now speak up, boy. Harper's wanted for two murders. It's your duty to show us where he is. Let's don't play with him. Make him tell. Maybe you ought to tell what you know, too. Just what do you mean? What are you talking about, Ben? Maybe Harry and Dave will tell you. Maybe they'll tell you more about their brother and Sam Black getting killed than they've told. I'm tired of listening to all kinds of lies Harper fills you with. If he weren't a murderer, he'd have given himself up a long time ago. Oh, come on, let's get him down yeah. the clay. You better take us in to Harper, boy. You won't get nothing out of me. Duckin' will change his mind. Oh, please, oh, the 
didn't do it. You ought to be real proud of yourself. I didn't know they'd do this. You know, if Benny won't say, they'll kill him. If they kill him, it's your fault. your mind? Come on, let's hold him. Don't be stubborn, Ben, please. You can't be for a murderer against the folks you live with. Take us in. Nobody wants any harm to come to you. Take us in? Ben, say you'll take us in. All right, again. Uh I said let go of him. I ain't gonna ask you again. Take your hands off. <coughs> you all right, boy? Well, I was just coming by to tell you why. You don't I... have to tell me nothing, son. <coughs> Come on. And I lived with him. All he's asking is a fair trial. All right, son. We'll go into the county seat tomorrow and get things arranged. And you can go in and bring them out. Nobody left, he can put a rope around our neck. somewhere about, you got to listen. 
Jim, I got letters. Uh, letters from a lawyer and the county sheriff guaranteeing your protection and a fair trial. Stand still, Benny, you'll get dropped in your tracks. Laurie's got an arrow fixed on you, so don't move. All I'm asking is you come and read them and see if they ain't true. Drop them on the ground. Drop them! Now turn around. Sit yourself down. Looks like he's telling the truth, Laurie. They look real. How we know it ain't a trick? Because it's an official letter from the county sheriff with his signature and seal. You telling the truth, Ben? Of course I am. I know what you're thinking, Laurie. How are you going to believe anything I say after what happened? I never told. Never. Give your pa a chance to clear herself. I don't want to go deeper into the swamp, Laurie. I just can't bring myself to it. We've been in here too long. All right, Paul. Sheriff Jepson's waiting at the edge of the swamp to make sure no harm will come to you. Crazy to trust anybody. I thought there were some good people out in the world, but the angel. We can't stay here talking them long and discovering at us. So you know who it is, huh? That proves you sect them on us. Well, there could be nobody else. They must have followed me in here. You mean you brung them in? They hate me the same as they do you. But I wouldn't do a thing like that. I swear I wouldn't. Show yourself to him. You want to get me killed? I want to find out if anyone from the outside can tell the honest truth. Yeah. What are you afraid of? Go on, they ain't going to shoot you. You're in cahoots with them. Go on, show yourself, or I'll stick this knife right in your back up to the hill. Go on.
No, my leg. We gotta make them follow us so they won't get Paul. Uh, no, uh, not that way. Move it in the brush so they think it's us. When they shoot this time, make out like you was hit. Then follow me. I'd just like to look for a minute. It's just like coming back to life. Come on, you bulldog, you. 